Are we live? Most important story, I'm a level away from being level 100 in Diablo. Thank you guys. They've all been building me up. Well, we have completely up. lost you. We have completely lost you. You came in and I thought you were naked underneath that. I am. You've barely showered. Funny. You. We, we were in a group chat talking about the podcast today. We were talking about it yesterday and Will woke up at five o'clock in the evening and was like, what are we doing? That's because I went to bed at 11. What is, are you okay? No. You need help. I think he's we trying need to, to get, get on therapy. Maggie. He's trying to get on Lilith's toes, which it's, it's is the most even, honorable thing a man can do. It's not even Lilith's toes. Can, even I, can, I tell you, it. can I tell you guys? What is it? If I've ever succeeded in my life, it's because I am the genius of suffering. I am romantic. Rock Lee, right? The genius no, of hard work. I ate them all. Yes, exactly. But in my own way. And no matter whatever no. came in, we, guys, in general, we need to dial it the fuck in on this podcast. We have to stop getting so distracted. We are like kittens. I watched an episode and it was nigh unwatchable. Wait, l last episode, uh, yeah, the one before that was in insufferable. I can't, I can't hear from my left ear. <laughs> What the hell? You're a medical disaster. I don't know. You're falling apart. I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, for those of you at stealing my snacks. Oh, see, look at this. this for is exactly those of what you at home, Hassan's allergic to his dog. I don't know if that's He's allergic the case. to his dog. It seems like it might be, but only I'm hoping uh, her breed only sheds a lot twice a year, and she <laughs> just started shedding, uh, but then it stops twice. He can't hear. He can't hear. He's got a He's rash. Saying? He's got a rash. I'm faking. I can earlier. I can hear a little bit out like there. I, out there, I was like, "He's like, is is Kaya barking? I can't hear." And she was barking very loudly. He's yeah. like, "Can you check? See my dog's barking." Hassan, I think we've come to the point of our life in any good romance story where we just need to kill each other. <laughs> what? No, I Whoa. think no, no, no. Wait, like you guys kill each other? Yeah, murder suicide. What do you wait? Who would do the murdering? I'd hope murder suicide. He, I obviously we both will. kill each other. I hope he'd kill me. No, nope. oh. and then you would. Okay, you would, and then you would kill yourself. Yeah, but I wouldn't kill him, and I wouldn't kill myself either. I think so Will would, would be a failure. Yeah, Will would kill you. If you asked him. me to kill you, I'd kill you. Yeah, but really, you know, my mom that. always asked me. Like, she's always like, if I ever get infirmed, you have to kill me. What does infirm mean? Like, if she can no longer hospitalized function, you have to kill. Her. Will, will you? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a lot. You gonna do put a fucking pillow though? Like you just you just nah, she's do not recess for that. I Viking funeral. I feel like your mom would fight back. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, yeah like, she's a strong lady. You like she she'd tell you to kill her, but she'd put up a fight. She's for tough. It. She's just a tough lady. She's just I want to meet her. Such a barbarian. I can't, I can't wait to meet her. But she's uh, got she's got like potato farmer hands like Will. Yeah. Yep. But anyway, if I ever achieved anything, it's because I am good at suffering. And I went into this knowing it was going to be suffering. I didn't know how much suffering it was going to be, but I think it's going to feel really good when I'm done mm. because I'm going to remind myself I am capable of going to that other gear. Talking about a video game. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. It's cool. No, I, I do won't it. because do I, I know what it takes. I'm not trying to. It reminds um, me, this reminds me when Hassan was obsessed about role playing. <clears throat> yep. Oh, no pixel. Oh, yeah. It was awful. Had and and we lost Will him. had to pull me aside <laughs> and literally have like a man-to-man, -man, like one-on-one -on -one intervention where he was like, dog, yeah. vaccines are coming out. <laughs> He's like, he literally was like, he pulled me aside. He's like, dude, you have been portraying yourself as an Italian man yeah. for more hours in the day than not. And you Which started to talk like that. Yeah. Outside of it. And he was like, because like, well, I was doing it for 13 hours on camera. He started to dream. Uh, yeah, I in was dreaming Italian. in GTA. <laughs> and he was like, listen, dude, you're fat. You've gained a lot of weight. Yeah. You haven't fucking moved around. You were a big boy. You seem very upset all the time. His yeah. mom was also sad. Yeah. Yeah. His mom was like genuinely sad at his lifestyle. Well, she was like. Well, she was facilitating it with treats. Yeah, dude. Well, she didn't know what else to do to help you, yeah. but to bring you Turkish I was, delectables. I was fucking, I was so, I, God, I was so depressed. Dude, your mom, crazy. his mom is the biggest ally on the face of the planet. Oh my God, she, why? Because she unconditionally she, supports you? She unconditionally you? supports me. I am so good with parents. It's unbelievable. I turn them against their own children. And that's what I've done with the son. I, I'm working on your dad, slowly but surely. No, he's too homophobic. I was okay. So, is your dad truly homophobic? No. Okay, because like I've, I've talked about some real gay shit. In front I've of him. well, it doesn't. And he matter. pretends like he doesn't. My speak dad English. is a gay friend in Turkey, which is like super rare. 
Yeah. Uh, one of his like old uh, friends in their friend group is gay. Yeah. And he once told me a story about like how his gay friend described gay sex to him oh, God. or sex yeah. between men. How did you describe it? Yeah. So apparently they, they fucking got in a circle and they asked him, so what's up with this shit? Like you, you take it up the ass, right? <laughs> They was, got in a circle? Yeah, because they yeah. were, like, trying they to understand. They threw the donut on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, what's going on? Yeah. And he taught me this very valuable lesson where the gay man uh, who's friends with him, I don't remember what his name is, put up his pinky and he went, take your pinky, you put it inside your ear, and you scratch your ear. Is it Ow. your pinky that's the most pleasurable part of that, or is it the inside of your ear that feels better? Uh, like that's why I take it up the ass. <laughs> God damn! I've yeah. never that's heard so it. Just interesting. Yeah. So and your dad's been. My an dad has relayed since. that message to me uh, 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 fondly. Is he, that is that how he taught you that being gay was okay? No, I already did not. I was more progressive than my father <laughs> to begin He's with. Already okay with yeah, but that was him, He's got like a husband. Yeah, that was him <laughs> explaining. Yeah, that was him explaining it to me. That like that's why he he gets it. <clears throat> also, for the record, on the podcast, speaking of gay. I want to address the rumors. All right. What rumors? He Hassan, he Hassan and I aren't married and we don't have a child together. I want to be very clear about this that. this every episode Escalator. now. I want to be like, very clear. He did this last episode We do too. not have two beautiful children together. No one you, thinks that. You, 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 you bait the stands. That's what you yeah, do. He, he wants does. fan cams. Look, he wants look we, 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 don't have two, we don't have three beautiful children. <laughs> the number of children keeps going it does up. Keep going up. He's just yeah, he's baiting. Enough he's, of his nonsense. He's queer he, baiting yeah. for me. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. Like he's the gay guy who's queer baiting me, a straight man. I d don't know what he's talking about. I just clearly said we're not. We've, this is the only type rumors. of queer baiting shit Definitely that we not made. for Four children. Beautiful children. Four beautiful children. Cutie, I impregnated all of you. Yeah, what's going I on in your world? Cutie. Yeah, I really do too. Everybody demands cutie. Shut I up. demand. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Shut up, okay, Austin. Sorry. We want cutie uh, so we can talk over you much. as soon as yeah, you start thank explaining you, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cutie, I'm going to give you a hipster check real quick. What? What's your fr favorite Super Nintendo game? Mm, Dr. Mario. What? Wow. I love Dr. Put Mario. me in my place. No, but hold on. Cutie, why don't you talk about what you want to talk about and not let a man decide what you want to speak about? Awesome. <laughs> Fucking guy. I know. He wanted to call me the F slur if the camera was off. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm hungover because I was, I was cheating Ooh. on Fear and yesterday with wine about it. And um. I, it's going to be our most edited episode. Those boys. They're wild. Loose. You have on. Aiden, Nick, Slime, and Ludwig. Oh, you had... You, oh. get, you get them some booze and... The, the those, Yard, you mean. Yeah. What happened? We had an episode of The Yard. Oh, that's cool. Gosh. The Fear End has that, done zero... Yeah. Fear End has done zero yeah. collaborations I'm gonna with call out. About it. We, I'm going to hey, call out The we'll Yard. We'll have you guys on... What? I'm going to call, call out The Yard, out the right, yard right now. Again. Do it. You don't you like when out. you do this. You have 30 days, Yard, to yard. <laughs> collaborate with us, or you all have to give me a blowjob. Jesus. Christ. Wow. Seconded. What That's a real win win <laughs> for you. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Uh, we all agree, Yard. What are Yard? They, aren't we doing a non basketball game? Nope. Fuck the basketball game. That, that's a collab. No. What kind of collaboration? Like, is the collaboration also them giving you <laughs> yeah, a blowjob? The collab is the blowjob. The, awesome the collaboration blow has bang. to be. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck my dick. Yeah. If they don't collaborate, they've got 30 days to respond from the moment this podcast comes out. Take it or leave it, Yard. They're gonna leave it, Austin. Yeah. No. They well, then they have to. Well, then they have to give him a blowjob. That's the rules. Okay. Take it or leave it, Yard. He gave or yeah. forever be shamed <laughs> by you. By, by you. their fans. Their fans are gonna. Their fans are not gonna be upset. They're gonna rally around us. They're, they don't watch. For all you podcast. know, the Yard's fans are homophobic, and they're like, "Stay away from us." Yeah, they no. they probably yeah they probably watch Mogul Mail, and they're like, "Oh, this is my favorite right wing YouTuber." Yeah. Did, Look, Mogul, is... did Mogul Mail do a story on Nick Merckx? <coughs> I don't think so. Wow. Ooh, the wow. shocking silence. Ludwig's mm, silence mm. on the matter is deafening. Mm. Guys. First, they came for the game. <laughs> I assure you he's an ally. He's got 15 days to do a Nick Merckx Mogul <laughs> Mail. <laughs> or he's or he has to give me a blowjob. <laughs> blow Austin awesome. just wants a blowjob. <laughs> interesting, no, interesting how Ludwig yeah, has yeah, read the room yeah. and saw the metric fuck ton of hate his girlfriend and everyone in his orbit were getting 
and chose not to do a mogul male on the homophobic uh, drama. He did get his skin removed, though, so that was brave of him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he skin. Have one. So, yeah. so what was he, as a powerful woman in the space, surrounded by all those men, what was it like? What the fuck? What are you he even just, asking? Just turn, Aiden had four glasses of wine. You okay. would have been. He took it like a champ. If oh, that's what you want to hear. Oh, what are you? What, what, what are you talking about here, cutie? I love Aiden so much. I know. Can Play I? Can I give you a wine about it idea? Yes. Mm. Have you ever done a tour de Franzia? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Mm. Okay. My favorite wine drinking event. Get two stationary bicycles. Mm. Fuck my yard guys here. I gotta go pay the yard. Oh God. Wait, Wait Ludwig's podcast? here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All uh, right. The, the contractors who <laughs> made the backyard into the beautiful turf paradise it is. I'm we get it. You're rich. All right. Um, Tour de so, Franzia. What's Tour de Franzia. Mm. I think we should do a a, a yard verse. Wine Fear and it Tour verse. de Franzia. What okay. you do. Yeah. It's a wine about it episode. Okay. But it's but our it's cult. you guys. Oh. Okay. Guys. Well, and me. Two stationary so bikes. So Maya's the host, essentially. Yes. Yeah. Two stationary bikes. Uh-huh. Teams of four. Yeah, but Nick and Slime don't drink. Pussies. Well, then the other two have to drink for them. Whoa. Okay. So the way it works Mm -hmm. is you're on a stationary bike. Okay. And you can only drink while you are pedaling at max difficulty. So your team has to drink an entire bag of Franzia (laughs) between And you have to rotate off? Wow. It is grueling. Dude. (laughs) I, How many ounces are in a bag of wine? Uh, Enough to get you friggity, yeah, riggity wrecked. <laughs> Dude, I... Kind of awesome, though. I had maybe four drinks last night. What did you do last night? I went to a gay bar. A couple uh-huh. of them. Jesus 1. Christ. 1.5 liters. That's I a I went lot. to a gay bar and I... That's I, a big old bag of wine. I was going to have a really easy night last night. So I said to a friend, I said, let's go just get one drink. Right next to the Abbey at Tom Tom's. There's a place called Tom Tom's. There's got to be another bar besides the Abbey. I, I don't know why. I keep going back. I don't I, know I what relax. to tell you, but I heard through the grapevine that the Abbey is tacky and real gays don't go there. There was a lot of real gays there last well, night. I, I, I was told that the only, the, only the tourist gays what? go there. I did meet many people from all over the country. He's a new gay, cutie. I don't know. You have to find the hipster gay. I'm in a point in my life where I just don't want to go to straight bars. It's boring. Don't. That's fine. It's boring. No one said to do that. I'm just telling you to hang out with the hipster gays. Yeah, but he doesn't. Hip mustaches. I'm going to be honest. He doesn't yet know, like, where those gay niches are. Mm -hmm. Like I do. The gay underground. Like, you don't want to go to Foo Bar. That's bears. That's not your market. Okay. You You don't want to go to Gold Sun or Gold Coast because that's old gays. Where do the twinks hang out? I'll, you got to discover that for yourself. Fun. Wait, can you take me? <laughs> I, can, I can. I feel like you know. It's like some underground speakeasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's just a hidden crop of twinks. <laughs> yeah. so they, they weigh you before you go yeah. in. Yeah. in order to make Everybody sure. knows you for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I come and just bang on a wall. <laughs> hey, Open well. up. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, just like the fucking, I, I, we were at the Abbey and this dancer who I had a big crush on. New Will. Yeah. He, like, talked to Will. He, like, knew Will. I used to live on Rainbow Road. Like, yeah. I was oh, you were right cool. there. I was in West Hollywood. You were right there. Dude, I loved it, man. The best food. The people are all super friendly. Yeah. They're really supportive when you work out. Yeah. It's very, it's very true. So what did you do at the Abbey? Um, I danced a lot. And I drank. I didn't. I had two tequila shots. Um, some sort of very powerful mixed drink at Tom Tom before that, and then I had a vodka sprite, and I was hammered. Yeah, I was so gone because I didn't eat anything all day. That'll do it. And I also had a few mimosas on the plane earlier in the day, <laughs> and I was just hammered. And yeah. I was, dude, I I don't even know what happened after that. I got back to my hotel. I ordered clucks and chicken or whatever, a chicken quesadilla. Woke up, fell asleep, woke up to the door pounding, <laughs> ate like three bites, and then passed Slammed out. Slammed some ghost kitchen Dude, quesadilla. I was, yeah. I was, I found God in the morning. I was, I converted to Christianity. I was so Oh, hungover. dude, those, some of the, I know those hangovers. Today? It was bad. I didn't know what to do. Have you ever had one of those flop sweat hangovers? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it lasted a whole day. <laughs> oh, I actually, it was tequila. That's why I don't drink tequila. Can I tell you? This is actually the craziest thing. There is a hangover remedy that I believe in. Okay. What? And it used to be a wives tale of mine and then apparently science came out and backed it. You can look it up. Asian pears. 
Oh. I used to get a box of them at the Walmart in North uh, Carolina. North Carolina. North Korea. Korea. Yeah, I went to college in North Korea. My brain's fried. <laughs> um, no, but I... Uh, yeah, see? Wow. See? So this was like a wives' tale that I believed in. I told all my friends, I was like, Asian pears, I don't know what it is. And then the science came out. And they say it can actually help. Have you ever had an Asian pear? No. no. They're fucking delizioso. Mm. It's like an apple. Where do you get them? Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You said Walmart. I don't know Every why. Prices. I, I think I was really drunk one night. And I was walking around a Walmart and I saw a fruit that looked like it existed in a Dr. Seuss book. Yeah. And I picked it up and just took a bite and I was like, that is delizioso. It tastes like an apple, but it has the consistency of a pear. Oh, weird. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. What's yeah. your hangover remedy? What did you do today? I nothing. I'm hungover. I, I drank. I don't a, feel well. I got liquid IV, which is great. Those are good. Uh, and then I took four Advil, which is probably not legal. Yeah. Did you drink any Pedialyte? Uh, that, that was liquid IV instead. The same idea. And then I pounded water, and then I went to Dialogue and had a nice breakfast burrito, a little bit of toast, a little bit of cappuccino. They know That's bad. They know me there now. They know a me. Dialogue? There. I've been there like three times. I think Dialogue is, is one of the best breakfasts in Los Angeles. It's amazing. It's really good. I sat there alone, and I ate, and it was delicious, and I cured my hangover. One time I drank too much tequila and I was at a bachelorette party. The only one I've ever been invited to. Oh God, That sure. wasn't a Mormon one. <laughs> what are Mormon bachelorette parties? Oh, like? they're awful. I, I love my sister to death. I have to preface. Mm. But at her bachelorette party, which was, I believe, a Disney movie night, oh. if I recall correctly. Oh, my God. Um, oh. Everyone gave her lingerie and stuff. Oh, it's awkward. Sexy. Because they don't have, they don't have, they don't lose their virginity until their wedding night. Did she wait? Um. Of course, um, but she she asked me and her best friend if guys' penises are the same as dog penises, where it like comes out, and we were like, "Oh no!" And you told her, "Yeah." Yeah, I was like, "Good luck <laughs> and, tomorrow." And she was pleasantly surprised yeah, yeah. when it wasn't a dog dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I saving yourself till marriage. That's got to be a miserable experience. What if it doesn't work out? I, to be honest, it's like. You know, you know what I think about it? I used to think that way. But then I started to think. Pretty girl. <laughs> you ever seen the videos of like a baby the first time it tries like vanilla ice cream and it's like. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. Because I have vanilla ice cream and I'm like, this is fucking trash. But to that baby who's never experienced the magic and the mystery. Yeah, maybe it makes your relationship last longer. Yeah. Because wow. you like, just you don't know what you don't know what's bad, <laughs> right? You just associate all those sexual. Th Listen, it could go either way. I'm just playing devil's advocate. I don't fucking know. That is true. If I stayed with the first guy I had sex with, I would have never known how bad he was at sex until I got really? with the second guy. Yeah, it was really? so good. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not a virgin. Oh, forty. I mean, oh wait, those who waited until <laughs> marriage expressed twenty two percent more stability. And 20% higher satisfaction rate. Mm. Yeah, because they have to. Okay, CatholicMatch.com. <laughs> Catholic Match. Thank you, CatholicMatch.com. The most Matt. reputable source for relationship Catholic news. Catholic Match. And it's only 20%. Wait, one of those said says BYU. What does that say? Well, we should I, trust them. I'm going to be honest. I think the future is polyamorous. I think the future yeah, is probably. like a, a five-person couple. I love that idea. Right, you, you you come home, Ugh, your friends all jealous. Know. Hi guys, you and I are the same. Person. You know, you're feeling yeah. someone that week. Hey, let's go on a date. Blah blah blah. Come home, you're snuggly with someone else. Uh, yeah, dating. we just have to eliminate jealousy from society. Yeah. Okay. So I I'm actually I've learned something about myself in the last several months. I think I'm a monogamous person. I'm serious. So brave. I think one day I want to find a man. Mm. I want to settle down. Yeah. I want to have four beautiful children. Yeah. I'm dead. I've. I, Serious is a heart attack. Stop looking at Hassan's empty chair. <laughs> <laughs> I want to settle down. I want to have four to five beautiful children. And white picket fence life. Calm, peaceful. One man for the rest of my life. Really? And maybe the occasional threesome. I think I eventually would like to... My goal in life is to mentor children. I think even if I don't have my own, I would like to be at like maybe a... School somewhere or something where I can.
Sean, we've been here for like, you were here in the beginning. Are you about to swab your ear with Tito's vodka? Because she was watching the stream. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. oh. That's not no. the way. No, that's the wrong type of alcohol. I mean, white vinegar. You can do that. Yeah. No, do it. It's great content. Or olive oil. It loosens it all up. I mean, vodka listen, is not listen the champ, way. if that's you feel strong, you if you feel strongly that you need Tito's vodka in your ear, that's what you need. Yeah, we didn't need to stop him, I yeah, guess. Why did, <laughs> no, okay, well, now we're going to... Well, now he's making a fucking salad, salad in his ear. <laughs> yeah. He's making some vodka pasta in his Oh, he's going to clog up his ear even more. No, olive oil is good for it. You sit there and you let it... So, so guys, are we going to talk about the fact that Hassan <laughs> might have to rehome his dog? <laughs> I think once she's vaccinated, he could just get her de-shedded. Weird that Kaya is against vaccines. Wait, we should strip her and maybe we can get her laser hair removal. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you get her de-shedded, she like, doesn't that's, shed that's, as much. That's what we have to do. We have to get Kaya laser hair removal. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely not. Responding. Okay, Hassan is okay. not even here. It's extra virgin olive oil. Perfect. You're just gonna take like the cap and just kind of pour it in, and then you're gonna sit there with it for like two. Minutes. I like to call it loser. Oh, no, you don't need. Oil. What are you doing? That's not enough. Lube in it? No, you gotta There's pour it in there and then pour it out. Wait, like Sounds pour crazy. it into your right, ear? Well, that okay. Audio listeners, he's. Oh. Is it working? On you're too deep. Go to a doctor. Does it work? Well, we'll find out if it fucking loosens it up. No, you gotta feel it. You gotta pour the bottle. That in sounds your ear. insane. Uh, Marsh, Google it. Olive oil in your ear. We, we should. My dad used to do it to me. White vinegar is what I used to do. Uh, so that my, bubbles. My dad and I both had both deformed tunnels. Two or three times a day for two to three weeks. Just go see. And do- I don't do two or three. Hassan, jobs. I just go bloop. Hassan, I know you don't like capitalism, but take advantage of your wealth and just buy get a doctor to come to your house on stream. Great content. No doctor. And your nose and throat doctor is good content. Who needs a dermatologist too? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Wait, you're going to Japan like in four days. Not I think we need days. to cancel the trip. You, you need to put your health first, Hassan. This. Rat is doing anything he can to get out of going to Japan. Bro, I, I, you know what's great? I haven't thought about it at all. And usually I get tripping anxiety. Look, yeah, you've been absorbed with Diablo. Let me tell you something about Japan that I'm actually more excited for. Onsen. Whatever, what's that called? You guys will be in Japan when this comes out and they will have seen your dick. The naked sauna. Now you're, now you've come around. I, but no, because I talked to, I talked about this last week on the podcast um, you can actually cover your pee-pee with a little rag. Stop. And Austin, just stop talking about being insecure about pee-pee and turn it and be like, I'm excited for the onsen because it's going to be fun. And so then get to see your right fat now cock. they're all thinking about your pee-pee. I mean, I told Hassan that... Don't think about your pee-pee. I told Hassan that you guys are going to bully me <laughs> and then I'm going to get hard. <laughs> yeah, I told him that we were gonna fucking bully him You're physically bully when he's physically, in the onsen, and then, I'm gonna and then get, he's gonna get hard. I'm gonna get hard and awkward, and I'm been fantasizing about getting hard. And now in the I'm kind of getting horny about it. <laughs> See, this is my strategy. I'm gonna make them so uncomfortable. I'm just gonna start. They're jer- not gonna be uncomfortable. I'm gonna start gonna jerking off. Jerk off onto oh, their leg, and they'd come back with a story for the podcast. What if I chased you while I was jerking off? It would you? Would you then? What you if, would literally never do that. Your ass. What if I would beat your ass? Would we still be friends if I came on both of you? <laughs> my fucking dad watches this podcast. Does he? Does he? I'm so sorry, Mr. Neff. I, my we ear is met yet. full of olive oil. Okay, now. it's not it's dripping. You're oh, dri- give me the fucking. You gotta put. You're little, dripping put olive oil out of your ear. I got. It, I got. It. Put I'll a little cotton it. ball or a wad in there and just let it sit in there. How far are we into this thing? We are triaging Hassan. Oh my God, Hassan, you haven't spoke one time. We, we have had three podcasts in a row now. We just don't focus at all. It's a problem. Are people mad? Well, I, I've been trying. Uh-huh. But I... Hassan, you your know ear's what? not going to unclog. It's but, weird. Oh, you can't hear shit. Well, I was trying to talk. Go ahead, Will. No, it's fine. Would you still like us if we were all worms? 
I don't give a shit. If you were all worms? But, like, he's an ugly, stupid worm. Oh, fuck you. Fuck the gay-ass worm. The dumb-ass worm. Fuck you, cutie. You can't even keep him on your shoulder. He just rolls off, and you're like, oh, this worm is inconvenient. A limp worm? But, like, worms the rest of us are fine. have five hearts. What so is do this? they have a deeper capacity to love? That would be nice for me. I'll be honest. I feel like one heart is enough for you. I don't feel anything ever. You love us. I think you feel too much. That's why you shut us. it off. I, whoa. If I died in front of you, would you care? I would you add more trauma to me and that would really suck. <laughs> oh, so it's It'd be really selfish of, of me to, to die, die. <laughs> yeah. in front of you? One yeah, why would you inconvenience cutie like that? A worm died. My mom accidentally stepped on it when she was a kid and she took it inside and tried to band-aid it back together. Can I? Something Thank you. That I've never told anybody. Oh, God. When I was out in my backyard, I was playing in my sandbox and I saw a little ant. Oh, yeah, it was a little ant. I picked it, I picked it up, looked at it. I started picking its legs off. Ew, what is wrong with you? Serial killer. And I felt so guilty. I put it back. I let it go. You crippled no the ant permanently. The I've, rest of the colony probably looked at I've it and I've never went, forgotten that moment. And that's, that was a crossroad. I could have become a serial killer. What if I would have liked that? Yeah. I think there's that. I think that is a defining moment in your child. Have I ever t- told you guys the fox story? I don't know if I want to know. I was forced to kill a fox. Oh, my God. <gasps> hey, I'm sad. I had a kid. I had a dog as a kid, a Jack Russell Terrier named Bandit. After Johnny Quest, oh, cat of course. Bandit. After who? Johnny Quest. And um, Bandit, how many people know this about Jack Russells because they're very cute, but they're like one of like the, the premier like hunting dogs. Yeah, they get like rats and they, shit. Yeah, they go super jackal mode whenever yeah. there's like a, a, a rodent around them. Yeah. And they're, they're like, you can't control them. So I was playing tennis when I was like 10 or 11 years old a friend and I hear my dog going crazy absolutely going nuts in the woods and he's like yelping and barking oh that would stress like, me oh, out shit. so much so we go out into the woods and my dog is in like the tail 30 seconds of a death match with a with a fox and there's blood <gasps> everywhere oh, oh god. there's blood yeah. every- my dog is bleeding he's like barely standing up the fox is like eyeball is hanging out it's pouring oh, blood god. fucking fox had hands and they're yeah dude it's, it was a death match so like this fox was on death's door and like they were just wrapped around each other and as a 10 year old I had to pick up a rock and <gasps> smash this fox to bits Jesus Christ and then after that uh. I picked up like my dog it was like legs wouldn't even work and I like held it, and I was covered in blood. Kill the rock and kill the dog. <laughs> yeah, I killed him. No, I I walked him home. And we took him to the vet, and he, like he took him like two or three weeks to recover. But I actually got mange from the wolf, or from the wolf from the fox, and so did my dog. Wait, what's mange? Oh, the fleas? mange is like yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn. Uh, yeah, and it was like it was like one of the. It's like one of those memories that. Like I can still feel the sun on my skin. Oh I can my still God. like smell what it was like in Princeton that day. Oh my God. It was like God. such a hard thing That's to do. That's so traumatic. I can't yeah. imagine. Oh God, has Zani ever killed anything? <laughs> <laughs> no. I've okay. never killed a thing. No, me neither. I've never I mean, I've killed, killed like I've killed plenty. I I can't even kill bugs. Nothing like yeah. I, can I let them go. I up. fucking own bugs. No, I, I can't do that. it. No, I have to let them go. Kill plenty of bugs. Except flies. Killed lizards. Flies. Killed lizards. Yeah. You sick? Killed of lizards. Not on purpose. I was just trying to like pick them up. What? And I've stepped on them. Uh, oh my God. I've poured oh salt God. on snails before. What is happening? This is I, I, have, stuff. I don't know if there's been many times that I've like just killed an animal out of cruelty, though. No, I mean, what? Salt on snails is cruel. We all have to learn. It's like putting a hand on a hot stove. Watching it. Have you guys never tried to pick up lizards? No. My only one That's when crazy I was a kid. I picked up lizards. Pick they up just a lizard didn't die. stumbled no. on it. <laughs> no, no, no. I've, I've tried is to pick inter- up. Is this an instant I used to try to, Yeah, I used to try to pick up lizards and their tail would dislocate. Well, that that's doesn't normal. kill them. They're designed no, I to know. That. I know. Which I thought was cool. And when I was chasing one, <laughs> I stepped on it and killed it. But other than that, I don't have any formative memories of murdering animals. Good. I'm <laughs> 
or torturing them, Austin. That's, That's really weird. So okay, no, I was five. Okay, yeah, it's just still even weirder. You dislocated lizards' tails for fun. You, no, because so. I wanted to grab them. I wanted to capture them. Okay, hold on. Just oh, let me let me say. And something. then treat them to a nice you lizard. You dislocated dinner. lizard tails and killed, murdered several lizards. Okay, not several. One. Okay. Will beat a fox to death with a rock. In defense, it was for his dog. Okay. It was a. I was defending okay. my soon to be dead dog, Regardless. and it was also a mercy killing. Regardless, fair. That also I picked sucks. a couple legs yeah, off of an ant, ant, and I'm a monster. Yeah, significantly worse. I think you were torturing ants. I, like, yeah, and I let it go, and it lived a well, very long life. No, it didn't. <laughs> It was oh, it was did. ostracized it by the it ant it colony. It must have been like ninety six or ninety seven. <coughs> I mean, granted, that, disabled that ant, ant rights. Have you know what come happens to a disabled ant? Then. What? Okay, when an ant is disabled, it is no longer productive. Therefore, the entire hive, including the, its ant mother and ant father, disown the ant. <laughs> okay, they he walk past this. them. They walk past them, and the ant is probably desperately crying for help, saying, "No, I still got two working arms. Please, please help me. Please bring me back to the colony. I swear I can be a productive ant worker." And yet, they look past him on that assembly line when they're bringing those little nuggets behind back onto the fucking colony to eat that night. And that ant suffered a cruel and unusual demise where he just sat there as his friends <laughs> and family members alike toiled away doing ant things that they love. And he died of starvation. I'm pretty sure David Attenborough did an episode on that. <laughs> yeah. God think damn. about that. Sounds a lot that. like what it's like to be a gay man in America. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really, truly. Yeah. Which we all have pets, right? So I went to a bachelorette party. <laughs> okay. Oh, I went to a bachelor party. No, we know. You've talked about it four times. Oh, my <laughs> God. Austin, let Cutie have one okay. word in. I went to a bachelorette party. It was non-Mormon, so it was a cool one. When was this? Years ago. I don't go to anything. Okay, now. okay, okay. And I, I drank tequila, a lot of it, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize that it was that much and we all got in this car and we went to a different <laughs> bar this bar was 45 minutes away from my home and now i'm lost and confused and it's 1 a.m uh -huh. and all the other bachelorette girls are leaving and mm. i'm like oh <coughs> how am i to get home my phone's at one percent <coughs> mm -hmm. and it's like it's like one in the morning and everyone's leaving and so i call my boyfriend at the time i'm like calling him calling him calling him. he answers and he's pissed that i woke him up and I'm like, I'm so sorry. My phone's at 1%. I can't order an Uber because my phone's going to die. Can you please come pick me up? I'm at this bar. It's 45 minutes away. I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I have work at 7. Figure it out. And I'm like, okay. And so I nice. so get off the phone with him. And then this other girl comes up. She's like, I ordered an Uber. Do you want to share it with me? And I'm like, sure. Mm. So then I get in this Uber with a strange girl I don't know. And I add my stop. And he, he drops her off. And then he goes to drop me off, but he goes the opposite direction of my house. So I just freak out and I'm not like, I'm too drunk to like figure out what's going on. And so I'm like, oh, I'm actually staying with her. And then I get out of the car and I have to walk like six blocks home at like two in the morning. I get home and for some reason think that that boyfriend like deserves sex. Plus like I had enough tequila that I'm just like so horny. Oh my God. And so I Wait, like, so your boyfriend who was like, I have work in a couple hours, figure it out, was still awake enough to fuck you. <laughs> Of course, and, you and, and of course, in, it's a man. And of in course. your mind, that that no. did you not it, yeah. ring any alarm bells. <laughs> no. Dude, I want no. men will do. Men will have sex. You, it, any, yeah, no matter any what point. is coming. Oh, and so I, I wake him That's up. That's not true. No. But karma is gonna come. Pussies. Don't worry, karma comes. Okay. I wake him up. <laughs> Start having sex, but I'd had so much tequila. I start projectile vomiting. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's an app. Okay. Sure. Can I be on? I once. It was like my only time ever going out, literally ever. Oh, did he? Did you guys finish? No, because I threw up, and then he was incredibly mad at me the next day. What? Austin, <laughs> you would have finished. No, I felt bad. Oh would've my been. god, he would have finished. No, I would have never done that. Here. That's disgusting, Hassan. Well, if if he was with someone that was projectile vomiting, it wouldn't have gotten we, on him because no. it would have been. Wait, because I would have been on top. He would have been from behind. Oh well, no, I, that's not the only way gay people have sex. We have other sex. We have missionary. You, Marsh, pull up gay porn. Did you just no? <laughs> wait, wait. This Did you just think we only do doggy style? No, I just think if you're trying to get in the butt. <laughs> you think the butt is only accessible from the back? Yeah. Now I am genuinely confused. Wait, hold on, cutie. Wait, wait we, need what? To, we need to unpack this. 
Wait, we need oh, to no, no, this. I'm my Mormon sister. Wait, okay. what? Wait, wait, cutie. How you do can you... hit that thing from any direction, yeah. cutie. Cutie. The... How do you oh. get back there? Are you kidding me? Wait, it's wait, pretty close on. to the, where the pussy is. It's you inches. Your butt, your penis is long enough to go all the way up into the butthole? <laughs> Ludwig's a jock, bro. Uh, all right, Stop. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, we need a, we need I a, need a mic or can I wait, wait, hold on. Can I have paper hold and on, pen? Wait. Can you show me, I got a pee, I need you to draw what you think gay sex looks like. I don't have like. paper and pen. Wait, cutie. I need paper and pen to explain what I'm saying. So if they're facing you, it's this. They're facing each other. It's the same distance. I'll give you a paper. No. Vagina's here, butthole's here. Just put the legs up. Legs up. Oh. Oh, like happy baby pose. Yes. Wow. Okay. I think I figured it out. I think that made sense. Okay. So here's a man. I'll draw him really well. Man. Dude, I'm a bigot. Who knew? The arm come down here. And so. the foot comes down <laughs> here. Well, he said missionary. Missionary isn't leg up. I mean, yeah, but you can still... Why wouldn't you be able to have and sex And another in man is also laying down. And his oh. he's a little taller, so his toes are down here. Wait. Man, this is mouth. Is this what you think of us having sex? <laughs> you said missionary. This is missionary. Yeah. Yeah, but your penises were both here. Yes, but you, you one person has... Look at, for those of you wondering, this is That's her sideways. diagram. <laughs> Yes. Okay, but the other okay, when you're in missionary, okay, are your legs flat? Missionary is flat. Yeah, but your legs are up. No. They're not? You're flat like you're playing sardines. The no, that's planking. Yeah, no. That's why I, I don't like missionary. Okay, no, but no because missionary is just to, flat. To access the butt, you must lift the legs up ever so slightly. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what he said. That's happy baby pose. It's happy baby. But also missionary. What's Will missionary? you Google Karma Sutra missionary? You no, know, there's degrees of flexibility within every position. Yeah. No. Oh. So you, I can't it's believe black you. Black and white, th- baby. Uh, okay, see. See, look. What the heck? That's not what uh, I thought was Are we allowed was to missionary? show this? Yeah. Okay, that is. See, yeah. that's what it. That's, that's what it looks. That's what it looks like mostly. I thought that was something else. No, I'm. You're literally describing planking, cutie. If two people are like wait, Google this Kama Sutra planking. No, th- no, 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 it's I not going to be in the Kama Sutra. <laughs> Look up the winged flying that's euros. So funny. <laughs> Look up the winged flying euros. This now is, that's advanced Kama Sutra. This is why I always thought. This is why I always thought missionary was cringe. So I was like, not how euros. Get in? Okay, so you thought wing? Just type in winged flying Kama Sutra. I thought missionary meant both people were straight. Now this is an advanced okay. Kama and Sutra and at the same, same time. Mood. Yes, the winged flying euros. This is what you have to get into. Oh, that's... Oh. No, there's an actual Kama Sutra pose. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's for awesome. Kama Sutra for 50 people over 50. Look up the Kama Sutra poses. Well, okay. Fuck the Kama Sutra. Turns out people lift their legs for missionaries. Yes, okay, so... I thought that was a different but wait, pose. Wait, but did you think that we just always were behind them? No. So yeah, we can lay on the wing seat. flying euros is like a guy in a crab position, and then the girl is on top of him holding his neck. It's incredible. Well, I learned a lot today. Thank you. I Austin. like to look. I like. I like. Mich- I like me some missionary. I was trying to make a joke about how you were a selfish bottom, not realizing I'm a selfish bottom. I've never Pop. bottom. I've never bottom before Shoot. in my life. I'm going to though. This this in Japan. Japan. No, we're all doing booty boot camp. I'm, we agreed on it yeah. last episode. Last episode, we agreed that you were all doing booty boot camp together in the yep. in the paywall. Yep, you too, Will. Why? Can you show me the booty boot camp dilators? I'll be honest. I think you'd actually win. What? I think you give off big asshole. Uh, yeah, no, not big asshole. I think you. I think you. I Flexible think, asshole. No, determined asshole. Determined. <laughs> I think you, there it is Those right there. Those are nothing. Those are the booty boot camp training kits. Oh yeah, that's nothing. Look, look, at the, look up vaginismus dilators. Oh my gosh. Vaginismus? Vaginismus dilators. Oh They're God. so much more intense than that. Hassan has not been is here he, for like the entire podcast. of the episode. What is he doing? Well, it's probably about time. We should make this the best episode oh. ever. 
Yeah, look, those are vaginismus. Oh stylists. my god! Well, look, it, it, booty boot camp should be more like that. Okay, look in 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 it defense has more stages. In defense, like the va- the vagina. W- uh, what? Well, the, this is kind of homophobic. What? It was designed. That. <gasps> that is so homophobic. You shouldn't say that. Why would the men's G spot be in the butthole? You know what? You're absolutely right. Yeah. The butt was designed to fuck. It was designed. Yep, fuck. That's what it was designed for. No, it really was. It was. They want to put it in there. Yeah, exactly. This podcast is so stupid. God, we are we are off the absolute rails. In fact, this is probably our last episode ever. We're, we're, this isn't this isn't this is falling apart. Hassan's got olive oil dripping out of his ears. <laughs> Will's barely dressed, and somehow I'm the most composed <laughs> one. Cutie didn't <laughs> thought that we only had sex from behind. Absolutely. Cutie thought that there was a sex position where both people lay <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. at. Full it's attention. so funny because I, I watched The Yard and Slime has talked about how he like loves mich- missionaries as go-to. Like he's like, I love Mish. And I've always thought to myself, man, that's crazy. What's your favorite <laughs> position? Uh, I'll jump in. Yeah. Uh, electric chair drop. <laughs> what? I like to stand straight up with a girl on my shoulders and eat her pussy. <laughs> That sounds like so... Wait, wait, hold on. You put her on your... Awesome, show. come here. <laughs> oh, my God. Can the camera see this? Oh, my... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Drop it like that. Oh, Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was insane. What yeah. What the fuck? Welcome that to That was podcast, insane. Hassan. Welcome to Fear Am. <laughs> Oh my god! I can't, it makes That's it worse. By the way, the olive oil made my ear worse, so I definitely can't hear anything. So I walked in and I didn't even know that there were people right next to the door, which Just made go us- to an urgent care tonight. <laughs> no, it's fine. Sanj, no, it's it's definitely not fine. I'll be. Fine. You have a rash all over your body and you can't hear. I, I can. I'll be. I can hear out of one ear. Do you want me to get like a, why don't we just Instacart an ear cleaner? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, actually. I was just going to look that up and do it in the paywall. You want me to do it? I have Instacart down there. That's insane. I use it all the yeah. time. You must make women come. I used to. What did you, what, what, what happened? He, his favorite sex was he puts women up on his shoulders and eats their pussy and then, then drops, drops them, them and fucks them. Do you do that? I don't put them on my shoulder. Yeah, because you pull it's too back. tall. <laughs> they'd, end, they'd exit the stratosphere. Yeah, they Dude, hit the heads. first... Oh, man. I had a situation one time where I tried to pick a guy up and then I dropped him. <laughs> <laughs> Which was not sexy at all. No. I, like, tried it and I wasn't as strong as I am oh. now and I dropped him oh. completely. And it just took the mood out of it. Oh, man. Did you guys fuck? Yeah, we continued fucking. It wasn't finished. a fucking incident, but I once, <laughs> I used to do the dirty dancing lift. Mm-hmm. There's one girl that I oh, no. did it with, and she came in way too hot. <gasps> Went right over my body. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Front flip, like, into a wall. Oh, no. Did you guys continue? Was I, this in college? It was not sex. It oh. was just, like, at a party. They oh. were just dancing. She continued to the urgent care. <laughs> no, she, she was... Okay, ish. <laughs> okay, does it feel like ear an ear ache, or does it feel itchy? No, there's no itchiness. There's full. no ache. It's just okay. I can't hear out of it. What's your favorite sex position, Hassan? Yeah, I'm curious. So, I used to be like anti. I used to like doggy style, but I think my favorite is probably missionary. That's wow. crazy. Legs I just on, learned what so legs on. You like. thought missionary <laughs> was only <laughs> like arms at the side. That's two men having she missionary. Thought, that's hard line. That's missionary. the most Mormon thing I've ever <laughs> heard. That's Mormon missionary. That's no. these are two Mormon that's missionaries. Book of doing Mormon. Missionary. <laughs> yeah. So fun fact, but a lot of porn stars actually their favorite position is usually missionary. A lot of people think that like missionary is so boring because they think missionary is that for some fucking weird reason. But missionary is very versatile. You can, there's, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of switch ups on that. I, I I've never been like a big uh, cowgirl guy. I mean, I call it cowboy. Okay, well, <laughs> same position. Cow person, Hassan. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm, I've never been a big cowboy cow guy. Cow <laughs> yeah. 
Um, no, I, I like. Cow. I like missionary with. Uh, Actually, we don't use cow anymore because of PETA. It's called riding human. Yeah. <laughs> Reverse riding human. Well. <laughs> That's what I like. Missionary with the legs on my shoulders. Did Austin turn this into a sex podcast? I feel like it used yeah. to not be. Every time things are off the rails, we can always get it on track by talking about fucking. Right? Used to be a guest yeah, podcast. Yeah, we used to have guests. You ruined it. No yeah, you can't even book guests. You were podcast. supposed to book guests. No. Where are we you were fucking guests? Have a Hold guest. on. For the record, I try to book guests, but it's hard to nail these people down, so I can't tell wow, the guests. Wow, that seems to... like a lot of, uh, I don't know, excuses. Well, you know what? Hassan, some of us have a job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, three people in this room Crazy. minus. Yeah. You're the All only one who doesn't have, have a job. Really oh, hard. I've got shows coming out in a big way, okay? Been saying that for three years. Will and I are going to be filming something very special soon. Gay porn. Blow bang. <laughs> the drop electrical Cutie, chair. here's what happened. I'm ordering this morning I was showering. Uh-huh. And while I was showering, I had some soap suds stuck in my ear. Uh-huh. And I went like, oh, no. And I put my finger in there to, like, get it out. Oh, did like, you give yourself swimmer's ear? And I think yep. that's what happened. That's what yeah. it is. And my mom suggested uh, that she has, like, swimmer's ear, like a bottle for yep. that. Yeah, oh, can- we need to cancel I the trip to Japan, I think. It's not safe. Swimmer's <laughs> ear... They have somewhere his ear drops. I'm yeah. just going to get three different Hassan, tests. you could lose your ear on the flight over. The pressure is going to be too much. Uh, uh, if my ear is still fucked up, I pro- you're, you're joking, but I probably shouldn't get on a plane. What would happen? Oh, my God, really? Do you guys get a refund? That would be devastating. No, we'll use it as travel credit, and we'll apply it to our future trip to Japan. I've got it all handled. Yeah, that gives, that gives Austin enough are time to bleeding? get a pump. Yeah, but that's fine. I, Wait, I believe what that. is going on? Why Hassan, are you- what are you bleeding? It's my finger. That's fine. I just bit it. What the it. fuck is going on with I you? buy my cuticles. That's fine. Let's move stop. on. I'm going to get you some diaper rash cream for your arm. Let's stop thinking. No, I already... Hassan is falling apart. I bought a lot of uh, got rash cortisone cream? And, and the like and Benadryl. Just, he just, just he just went call he thing. went to the he went to the section of the store where they sell medicine and he just bought everything. Yeah, literally right a here. phone call. Uh, the FaceTime doctor will prescribe you stuff. Look at this! Oh look at this! God. Will look at that! He just bought everything from the store. None of it makes sense. Their tech. You don't just say the name of the product. What is it? <laughs> allergies. Are you having allergies right now? I don't know. I don't think he is. Did you just drink that water like you were sucking the cock? <laughs> no, if I would have done that. What is happening? I don't know. I'm dying, mm. but it's fine. I'm going to go out on a limb here. It's one of our best episodes yet. No. No. You say that every time. I think this is the best. Ep- that fucking little maneuver you did, that's going to bring in the views because that's what we're going to use on Then <laughs> And they're going to think it was awesome, but it was just fucking... Disaster for like terrifying. 59 minutes unless until that 30. Seconds. Yeah, you you hated it too, right? Like when Honestly, it was I kind of want to be a bottom. Will you fuck me <laughs> in Japan? Sure. Jesus. What? I'm sorry. What? You surprised that I say this shit? No, You're not I- my type, but I do <laughs> respect you. Thanks. Thank You're you. hot though. I've seen your cock. You got a nice one. <laughs> he does have a nice. I'm curious who has a nicer dick between the two of you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you can find oh. out. You can find out. Oh, we're all going. Are we, are we going to go to the onsen and you're going to you're going to measure? No, yeah, he's no. going to go to the onsen. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm the weird guy for, for saying I wonder ever. who has a nicer dick and you guys want to see mine at the fucking onsen? Yeah. yeah. I'm the weird one. It's valid. That's the price of admission. You guys yeah. want to get naked. Yeah, we want to see your cock. I'm going to wear a sock. I'm going to slap. We want to see your, we no, see your dick, big boy. We want to no, see what you're I, packing. I, I just recently got used to peeing next to people at the urinals. Right? Well, I used to be get... the awkward guy that would wait for a stall, and like I was so nervous because everybody thought I I'm had gonna make a stall pisser. I'm gonna make you sit yes, down I'm when you pee. In, I'm gonna make you sit down when you pee in Japan, and I'm gonna spread your legs and piss in between. Them. Oh, oh my god! God, I'm gonna get bullied by these two frat butt guys. Don't yeah. say it like you don't want it. I uh, know I don't. These aren't my type. <laughs> yeah, I will say <laughs> I saw I saw a bartender last night. Oh my god! What happened? Uh, holy shit! He was so hot, but nothing happened. He was. Austin, we're going to need you to start doing more so you can have stories for the podcast. Should I just I agree, on? actually. You, just, you don't really do much. Wait, <laughs> you what just, do you mean? You are like a gay alcoholic. You just go to bars and you hit on men Mm-mm. and Mm-mm. and then nothing happens. I don't hit on men. They men hit, hit on, on me. Okay. But they're not quite as tight. No. 
The older- Every single story you've told us is like, I saw a hot guy one time. It never went anywhere. That is literally what you Okay, do. for the record. You I, need to start fucking these dudes, no, Austin. I flirt with men, okay? I, yeah, I don't want to make it seem them. like... I don't want to make it seem like I'm like people just want me and I don't want anybody else because that's not true. I've I'll tell you a story. Okay. I have a gay bar story. Yeah. Oh. First time I ever went to the gay bar. I don't know if you were here with me on that one. First time I ever went to the Abbey. Playboy model? Yes. I was there. You were there. Okay. First time I go to the Abbey. And you're rolling your eyes. This and I'm a little time. worried in my mind. I'm thinking like, oh, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking of pussy from uh, fucking Sopranos. Yep. Like where I was thinking, what if someone sees me here and they think I'm gay That's and I'm working through the motions of like, is that even a problem? Like, who cares? You know what I mean? And this is yeah. many years ago. It was like 10 years ago at this point. And we go there. And at first I'm definitely nervous because I was like, holy shit, like I'm in a gay bar. I it's like, this is crazy. I've like, I went from not even knowing a single gay person to being in a gay bar and then I quickly realized that gay bars are a great place to meet straight women. At least the Abbey is. Mm-hmm. Because it's like a place where women are not immediately like on the defensive because they've been hit on by like 15 dudes who are creepy as fuck all night uh, by the time you get to talk to them. And they're just having fun with their friends. And the people that go there aren't like creepy dudes. Oh. Or if the creepy dudes are going there, they're hitting on dudes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you automatically have like open minded, relatively open minded people that go there. So I had this wonderful conversation with a lady who was a Playboy model. And we very quickly, uh, you know, got passionate Were you at the out? bar. And then you're making she out invited me back to her place. Can you can you describe what you were doing at the bar? What I I I don't you remember. Getting like ten years like, what ago, does that mean? I, we were probably yeah, we were probably hooking up. Yeah. Okay, you were making out at the bar. We're making yeah. out at the bar. Yes, be clear. And were you there? Were and she invited me. There. She invited. I was the one who took him. Yeah, she invited me back date? to her place in West Hollywood after the Abbey, and I was like, "All right, everybody, I gotta go." And I think I remember telling you this part as well because I was a little worried. Is there was some a little off about the situation? She was being a little cagey. Mm. What does KG mean? Like uh, sus. Mm. And I thought, sus. oh no, what is what is like? Sus. What's the issue, mm-hmm. right? But mm-hmm. she's really fucking hot, mm. so I don't yeah. really care. Um, I go her back picture. to her apartment, and somewhere along the way, it was already like so far into it that I was like invested. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, like, no, I'm no doing. Turning back now. Uh, yeah, we're we're past the turn back point where she revealed to me that she had an ex boyfriend. Oh. oh was very crazy Uh-oh. and had yes. access to her domicile. Oh, domicile. shit. Her oh. house. Her house. Oh, Why are you speaking like this? Awesome. Why are you I'm, like just, I'm just like explaining it. Like, okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling a story. Sorry, I'm learning. Domicile. So well, look it up. I, I didn't know what that was. was I did. so fearful. I still had to get my knot, but, <laughs> but sure. I was so terrified of this process. And... Um, you know, I, I, we, we had sex and it was a wonderful experience, but the entire time I was like, I feel compromised right now. My, my butt is out. Oh yeah. You get stabbed in and, and out Your in the open. Out. I'm like constantly fucking looking behind, hoping that I don't get jumped by some fucking dude what, who like, think he was going to come in and fuck you. <laughs> no, I, I thought, no. well, I didn't know. I didn't know what, what, what was going on a little bit. Like I was a little worried <laughs> and that was when it was a, it was an important experience for me. Because that's when I realized, like, something clicked in my head where I was like, if I'm this afraid of another man possibly storming in and, like, killing me, that's probably what women feel like all the time when they're on dates wow, with men. Wow, what a learning moment you had. <laughs> and, and that was a very formative experience, and it happened to be the first time I ever went to a gay wait, bar. Wait, wait, hold on. You went to a gay bar, fucking picked up a fucking supermodel. She wasn't a supermodel. She was a Playboy and model. You had sex with her, and you were like, "Wow, this is what women feel like." <laughs> well, the fear that I had, but the fear that I had on such a joyful occasion uh, that I have experienced time and time again from the comfort and security of my home was quickly taken from me. Where I realized, like, oh my god, every time a girl goes to a dude's house, they probably feel this times ten. Yeah. 
And it was really an eye-opening experience for me. It was a formative experience. So my first time at a gay bar, very formative experience, okay. but not in the way that you would think. Okay, so, Will, you look a little disappointed. What's going on on your face? Disappointed? No. I'm not disappointed. I think he just Question. went through all of the experiences that we've had every time we would go out <laughs> at <laughs> night. And then, f like, 15 minutes later, I'm like, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that, describe what it would be like, Will. What was it like going out? Oh, with God. No. I mean, sometimes it was great. <laughs> Sometimes it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and sometimes it was like going out with a zealot to only be satiated by intercourse. Mm. Yeah. So you would just go out and then like he would just you would just leave. He would just ditch you. Oh yeah. Would you ever ditch him? Yeah, I mean a few times, but I was much more I I was a much more an outer course person. I found myself down a lot of rabbit holes talking to people in the wee hours of the morning. About very strange and peculiar things. I was I was more. <laughs> You're doing the teeth grindy thing. Yeah. I, I was more invested. I was more goal oriented. Yeah. Oh. But that was so long ago. Where is I, she now? Do you ever check? No. What? No. There's hundreds no of women. That. I would never you be able to okay. hundreds of women. <laughs> I would never be able to keep track. Look at me. How many women have you had sex with? Bro. <laughs> Lame. Austin's fucked more women than you. Aww. Cringe. Yeah, it was really cringe. Having sex with women is cringe. It is I agree. Cringe. I, That's why we're going to go and have gay sex, sex with, at the onset. I haven't had sex with a lot of people. How many? I'm not going to tell you. We'll see. Less than 10. No way. I mean, that number is about to expand exponentially. <laughs> He's in his slut era, just so everyone knows. Uh, decided. That yeah. number is about to go up like... Into the double, triple digits. No, it's triple not. Triple digits? No, I'm kidding. I'm this not a help. man. I actually know. I, 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 I would be honest. You are I a actually, wannabe slut. You're I not a slut. Yeah. I, need, I need an emotional connection with somebody to make it mean something. Austin, can I tell you what's going to happen? I do. You're going to... You're going to... I gonna, don't want meaning. I think you're going to fall for one of the next few boys you... Uh -oh. oh, my God. That's what I said. I literally... I told Austin... You just don't have slut in you. Uh, you don't think... You think I'm a one-person type of man? Yes. Because you don't allow yourself to just have base pleasure. It's too taboo for you. Really? You get off on the near misses. Really? Yes. You know that about me. I think the I think the lead up now to Now we fell in love with you right and then. The, mm -hmm. And the and the the taboo around the 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 flirtation pro process is much more appealing to you than the actual act. Uh, I think you're right. No, I think he, <laughs> I think he likes the actual act too. It's just that oh, I, I, I think you like the but it's, safety and security. It's, it's and a different mindset. Hassan, you're a zealot. Like, there was a time in your life where you would weather the outrageous slings and arrows to arrive at a destination. Yeah. Did you wants, ever go through he a wants, case? He once oh. fucked in his fart mobile in oh. the parking lot outside of my apartment. Okay, that's not a fart. It's not a fart mobile. Stop <laughs> saying it. A and I was, I was at my kitchen having my morning coffee. <laughs> And I looked out, and his no car was way. still parked there like an hour later. And I was like, this motherfucker is fucking in his car. And I texted him. I was like, are you fucking in your car right now? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like five Wait, in were, the morning. You were texting while you were fucking? You were answering your phone? He was like, probably after. I don't remember. Yo, I had sex in a parking garage one time. Sick, man. <laughs> 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 okay, hear me out. This is the most wild sex story I had, okay? All right, all right. Who was it, missionary? You remember the, the mem mem kind? remember how I was in my stage? Remember I was in? I would come to LA and I ran a pickup truck. Yeah, we remember. <laughs> well, I remember because I spent fifteen minutes while you executed an eighty-point turn. Yeah, <laughs> like Austin Powers. Okay, dude. one of the trucks that you rode in after a glorious night at the Abbey. Yep. Me and an unnamed gentleman yep. went back to a hotel in Beverly Hills. And we didn't even make it to the hotel room. I started eating his ass in the front seat. Got in the back. And you ate his ass in the front seat? Oh, yeah. While you were driving? No. <laughs> what? Now that's... Yeah, like, that would have been cool. I don't understand the logistics really cool. of this. I feel like I'm giving up too much about myself. Yeah, you like I it? I ate his ass in the front seat and we went to the back. Does it feel liberating? It felt so liberating. He had no... Now say the F word. <laughs> say it. I called him it. <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. I didn't. I didn't do that. I don't. I don't. Are you? Are you not a dirty talker? Oh, I'm a dirty talker. Yeah. Give us. Give us. Give us a little taste. I'm not giving. Give us a little taste. You gotta pay. That's behind the paywall. (laughs) Okay, we'll do it behind the paywall. Cutie, are you a dirty talker? No. Can you imagine? I knew the answer to that. There's no world. Cutie, if somebody dirty talked Cutie, she'd go ew. (laughs) She'd be like, "What does this say about me? (laughs) Oh my god, am I a bad girl? What is? Have I done something wrong? (laughs) What do you mean?" girl because i've been like really good today yeah you know I mean, no i can't loosen up enough what do you mean i just i couldn't loosen up enough to dirty talk i love me some dirty behind talk. the paywall we're gonna make cutie cinderella oh do my dirty god talk. that is an insane <laughs> at patreon.com slash fear and we're gonna where you will find out our dirty talk Oh yeah, I'm I'm i I already dirty talk you all the time. Oh yeah, you do. Oh, you fucking slut. This you take your shirt off right now. Oh, yeah. I do. I love it. We're we're gonna we're gonna do that behind the paywall at patreon.com slash VRN. And that'll be all for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm well, also gonna possibly. unclog my ear, hopefully. Yeah. Well, quite possibly it's the, the best episode I've ever seen. Uh, it's either the I best or the worst. It might have been the worst episode we've I, ever I, done. I okay, really we should probably though. stop analyzing the how, episode. How long while was we're this episode? That's it? Yeah. About like three hours. Holy shit. Oh my God. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. Okay, in we should Japan. definitely. If Hassan. No, by the time you get by the time you get this podcast, we will be in Japan. If Hassan, if Hassan's ear doesn't fuck up <laughs> or he shouldn't fly, we'll be you. fine. We are going to make the podcast great again. Believe me, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be on it. It's going to be great. We're going to have my daughter, Ivanka. Hey. That would actually be really helpful. She's fantastic. Yeah. Believe me. I really... Take a bottle with very warm water, attach a sprayer, twist the disposable tip on the nozzle, place basin under the ear, and rapidly pump fluid into the ear. Yeah, it rinses the shit out, and it all falls into that basin. And then, Patreon, this is the bonus content you get. You get to look at what came out. And then you I empty one I packet of ear von and pH conditioning ear rinse into the bottle. And you fill it with very warm wa- uh, water again. And then you rinse the ear with conditioning solution. Oh, you have to condition it. Yeah.